you'll see a lot of literature about rotating injection sites. Back in the olden days, when they actually had insulin from animal sources, it was very important because a lot of that insulin, the body recognized it as being foreign. It knew it didn't belong there, so it sends scar tissue to kind of envelop it and, and to protect you from it. Also, back in the olden days, there was a, um, we had different kinds of needles. Um, I rem I, I heard stories from nurses graduating right before I entered. You had to actually boil the needles and sharpen the needles at night. All the needles now are very fine. They've got down to 31 gauge. They've got special silicone coatings on it to make it slide through the skin easier. So there's been many, many improvements. So that it doesn't require, and now that all the insulin is actually human insulin, it's not as necessary for people to rotate those injection sites. There's been a number of articles, or so, let me read, they, there's been several articles that talk about different absorption rates from different anatomical sites. That the abdomen seems to absorb the best, it's more consistent, you get the, the uh, you get the repetition, it, it will most, um, the same dose of insulin will give you the same, um, blood sugar readings over and over again if you stay within that site. The arms are next and then the thighs and the buttocks are the slowest. So there could be problems if you take the same dose of insulin every day in your arm, your abdomen, your thigh, your your buttocks. You can get different very you can get variations in your blood sugar just because of the different absorption rates. We suggest stay within one anatomical site. Use your belly, stay away from your belly button, but any place you can pinch an inch, pinch up a little piece of that subcutaneous skin and pull it off the muscle, that's an appropriate place to give it. Um, anywhere below, the, like where the rib cage is, probably down to your pubic line, you know, to the top of your hips or so. You can go over on the side some to give your injection. If you find that that's sore, it's not, it, it, you want to change around, then go to the arms and stay there. When you check your sugars, if you see an appreciable change in your blood sugars, then you might need to change your insulin dose. It, that, that's, what, that's how you would accommodate for that. But again, if you're doing it every day, that's not, probably not a good idea because, again, you get different absorption rates on your insulin on a daily basis. So stick within one anatomical site. If you move to another one, monitor your sugars kind of frequently just to make sure that you're, um, that you're getting the right dose still. Keep in mind also that if you inject your insulin into your arm and you go to play tennis, that's gonna speed up the absorption rate. If you give the insulin in your thigh and you're gonna go play soccer or take a walk to where you're using those muscles, it's gonna change the absorption rate also. So again, that's why most literature is suggesting now just stay within the abdomen, the belly area, because it's, it's got the most stable absorption rate and you don't use those muscles a whole lot so you get more consistency and um, um, you're more likely to get the, the same uh, results from it on a daily basis.